Hi guys, Jane here, and today I am reviewing Roomies by Christina Lauren. Um, I actually picked this up because last year my top rated book was Autobiography by Christina Lauren, and last month I read The House by her as well, and have decided that I love her and want to read everything she's ever written. This book is about a girl named Holland who is crushing on a guy named Calvin, who is a musician that she sees in the subway every day. And different things happen and she convinces him to try out as a musician for a theatrical production that her uncle is involved with. Um, I think he's the, the writer for the play, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Calvin gets it. However, he is there in the U.S. illegally. He had a visa, but it expired. And so he can't do the production. And her uncle really needs him because they haven't been able to find the right person. And this guy, Calvin, is the right person for their orchestra. So Holland says, hey, let's get married for the year that this production is going. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll get you legal. You can work. And it'll just be a fake marriage. So this is a you know, fake marriage romance, and I do enjoy that trope. Um, I also enjoy, like, the, or a fake relationship trope. I also enjoy, like, the marriage of convenience, and this is kind of a little bit of both of those. Um, overall, my rating was a four out of five. Of the three Christina Lawrence I have read, this is my least favorite so far. It's not bad, and I certainly enjoyed it, and I still plan to read more from this author, but this book did not wow me the way that the other books did. So let me start by the things I really enjoy about it. Um, firstly, I enjoyed the characters, um, especially the side characters, the uncles. The uncles are, Holland's uncles are a gay couple, and one works in the theater, and the other, I think he's an accountant. He, he does something, you know, kind of boring. But, um, you know, they're, they were a cool couple. We get to spend a lot of time with them. And Holland herself is a writer, or a writer who is struggling to be a writer. She got a degree in writing and really hasn't written since. So there's a lot of creativity in this. Also, of course, the theater. I love the theater. I love musicals. So I'm basically on board with a lot of the stuff in here. I, I really was excited to have a writer and things about the theater and then fun side characters. And this book also is just, it's very funny. It's its kind of a rom-com, I would guess I would say. Um, it feels a little less like a romance and a little more like women's fiction. I think it's technically supposed to be a romance, but it is more about Holland and how she changes. There's a lot of focus on her and it's told in her perspective. We don't ever get Calvin's perspective. Um, and I enjoyed her arc, but in a romance, I really like to see more from the guy. So that was kind of both a, a pro and a con. I really liked Holland's story and I liked her arc and I liked her finding her voice as a writer through the story. But I also felt like it took away a little bit from the actual romance. So those are things I really liked. Now, some of the things I didn't like. Because Holland is narrating it, she can be kind of annoying. Um, overall, I liked her character, but there were definitely times where I kind of rolled my eyes at her a little bit. I didn't feel like Calvin got the development he should have gotten, partly because it was in her point of view. And there were a lot of times in the book that I wish we could have seen more of him and from him and known his thoughts about things. And I kind of feel like the authors did this on purpose because they want to keep you guessing if Calvin likes Holland or if he just is trying to stay in the U.S. and have his visa. Um. I think my biggest complaint about this book, and I'll go into this a little more, I'll do some spoilers for some particulars because I don't want to spoil it up front, but one of the things I didn't like about Calvin is 
there's a couple things that he does in this book that are basically unforgivable. And it's a romance, they have to get past it, but I, re I couldn't. As a reader, I was like, man, that's pretty shitty and I just don't think, I don't think I can get on board with that. I just, I'm not there. I don't love Calvin. And so it didn't ruin the book for me, but I definitely, I definitely enjoyed it less because of the thing at the end that made it, like pulled them apart. It, it really was something that I felt like was not real forgivable and made him, especially since we don't have his point of view, that made him a character I couldn't, I couldn't really love and appreciate. Um, I did love the voice in this book. It is a funny, funny read. Um, again, sometimes Holland was a bit annoying, but overall the voice and the humor, I just, Christina Lauren, um, they're, I keep saying they because I believe they're, they're a team of writers. Yeah, they're, they're co-writers. So it's two ladies under one pen name. They're just hilarious. And this has the same kind of voice and tone as autobiography and the house. And I really love their, their writing voice. But like I said, at times Holland was kind of annoying and her thought process, I wanted to smack her over the head. Um, I did, like I said, love Holland's arc and I thought she really grew as a character, and that was one of the things that I think weighed out some of the negatives about the romance is her as a character, and also the uncles and the side character and the humor. I, I really had a good time reading this, and it was a lot of fun, and other than the issues I had with Calvin, I, it was a good time. So I'm going to get into some spoilers now particularly what Calvin did that I was not okay with. So the big spoiler that I'm going to talk about now, now, is that Calvin doesn't tell, he tells his parents that he got married, but he had told them previously that he got married and he never corrected that, that assumption. So when his mom comes to visit, he thinks that Holland's name is, I think it's Annabelle or something. She's calling her the wrong name. And she sent these pictures, or he has sent these pictures of Holland because she looks a little bit like the girl that he said before that he was married to, that he wasn't really married to, and he lied to his mom about. <sighs> So we see these pictures, or, you know, they, she has pictures and is supposed to go by the, the wrong name. And, like, he just wants her to go with it. Like, he doesn't say, oh, man, I need to fix that. He's like, yeah, just go with it. They're only here for a week. It's okay that you have to lie about who you are. It's like, no, because by then they're starting to develop a relationship. I believe at this point they've already said maybe we shouldn't break up after this is done. And I could not get past him doing that. Yeah, I could get past him not telling his mom, but I couldn't get past him asking Holland to basically lie and pretend to be somebody else and answer to a different voice or a different name because, oh, her mom's not, or mom's not going to be there that long. Like, that was shitty. It was just terribly shitty, and I was not okay with it at all. And Holland's reaction to it was not like, oh, man, yeah, I should really fix that. It was, oh, just play along. It's okay. And I... I couldn't get past that. <laughs> I really couldn't get past that after that. That kind of ruined Calvin as a character for me. Because he'd done a couple other crappy things, but not to that level. That was just like the thing that I just couldn't get past. And because we're never in his point of view, I think we don't have enough background to make that justified like he tells us or he tells holland why he did it and basically he's all like well i told my parents i got married because i didn't want them to worry and then you know i really did get married so it just seemed like a good idea to go along with it and it just that wasn't enough for me like i needed more i needed to see him see him interacting with his family understand why he really felt that that was a big deal like i needed to see so much more from him to make that forgivable and because we're in holland's perspective i never could get past that um 
Another thing that was frustrating in this book is that Holland has a best friend who is kind of an awful person. And like through the book, she does outgrow this friend, but in the beginning, this friend is not bad enough for me necessarily to think she needs to outgrow her. And then she gets progressively worse and terrible. And I'm like, if she was really this way before, because you're kind of given the impression like she's always been that way, we just didn't reveal it right away, then Holland shouldn't have been friends with her for as long as she was anyway. Like she didn't out just outgrow this girl. This girl was a bitch, just saying. So the drama with her and her best friend was frustrating. I would have liked to have seen her with a better best friend and maybe not have all the best friend drama that happened. Um, because I didn't dislike the best friend at first. You're kind of hinted that she's a little bit selfish, but not the level that she becomes. And I think they took it kind of over the top. And just that whole storyline, I didn't think was well done. Um, because at first I thought the the best friend and her sort of boyfriend, they were maybe going to have a sequel story. I didn't know. I was curious. But they were kind of not really dating, but kind of. And they were interesting, um, the friend and the friend's boyfriend. And Holland just stops being friends with this girl. And, like, this girl is terrible by the end and does horrible things. So I was okay with Holland not being friends with her. But I didn't love that they did that. Um, and if Holland hadn't had her uncles and her brother to kind of bad ideas off of, she would not have been a very well-developed character. I would have liked to see more of her and more of her family. We know that she is very close to her uncles and not very close to her parents because the parents just have a ton of kids. But her personal relationships outside of her uncles and Calvin left a little bit to be desired, especially because of the friend drama. So I just, I did have some issues with some of the stuff in this book. It wasn't a bad book. It was better than a typical romance. So I liked it more than I like most of the romances I pick up, which is why I gave it a four out of five. But it really could have been a lot better. And I was a little bit disappointed with some of the stuff in it because I wanted just a little bit more. So overall, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. But I wish there were some things that had been done a little bit differently. And I think that's really all I have for this book. Um, if you've read the book, I would love to hear what you think about it. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, uh, if you love Christina Lauren, what is your favorite book? What's the one I should pick up next? Because I've done this one, Autobiography and the House. And I have several others out from the library, and I'll be honest, I'm just not sure which one to pick up next. So um, I would love to hear your suggestions for that. Okay, guys, um, I post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes on Saturdays. My social media is down below. Feel free to connect with me. Uh, also, the like and subscribe button's down there. And this is Jane. I'll see you next time. Bye.